Come on. On top of the headphones. Yeah, I couldn't do them over. I didn't think about that when I was getting this out of the closet. <laughs> yeah. Does it look dumb? Nah, it looks good. You know it looks good. We stay looking good here. You know what hat I'd like is what Bill Murray wears in Space Jam. What is that? He wears like an umbrella. I have one. Really? Yeah. Th- I was No, shut up. I was going to do that in another episode. I've always been a fan of that. Maneuver. I'll bring it in. Yeah, I have it at home. I found it. I didn't realize that from moving, I have I have bins of costumes that you got from years of just they're yours though or like your family's mostly mine. And My, you just forgot you had acquired these things. Forget. I buy shit on Amazon a lot. I have like a you bought that hat on Amazon. Yeah. Why? It, this was a good like summer like doing yard work hat. You wore that hat legitimately? I wore this hat doing yard work. Okay. I'm telling you, man, the Hispanics got it right. You ever seen them doing yard work, man? They got those big fucking hats. It's nice. This thing's nice. I'm plus, a rice patty guy. Pl- plus, like, you know, if your head gets hot, you take this, you bring it down, you wear it around the neck. It's on your back now. You, bl- you let the head breathe, pop it up, boom, on. Some Either real, that or... or parallel thinking between the Chinese and the Mexicans for hats. No, it's beautiful. No, it's smart. The Chinese hat, same thing too. But that stands out. This makes me look kind of like a hipster, or not like a hipster, kind of like a like a like a like like a like a someone from like Florida. No, really. What what would you say this hat? (laughs) This is nice. You see these a lot down south. Like you just started listening to country music and you tried to like buy a cowboy hat, but you didn't know like that's not what that is. So it didn't work out well. Yeah. You look like you're in between. This is also like a nice You're pool trying hat. a new thing. This is a nice pool hat. You look like this very much is in your wardrobe. And you're like, I like the hat. I'm wearing yeah. it. You could try out new things yeah. sometimes. I'm telling you, I, 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 I was going to go scarf this year, but instead I went gloves. I went gloves this year. I'm trying them out. I had to cave in the last couple of years and wear gloves sometimes. I like wearing them driving. I you ever would wear gloves like driving? A, I wear like glo- a nice pair of driving gloves. I wear my... Uh, I got some winter gloves, not like thick ones, but you know, gloves. I wear them driving some, or now in the winter, dude. I feel like a fucking like NASCAR driver, hitting these turns, fucking drifting. I would love good. just like some real leather yeah. gloves that you just fucking no, that'd be nice. Strap with on. a one strap, that's well, nice. Like De Niro, yeah. I found that out. You you never did the old drifting thing. Is that is that more out here? You not do do people not do that in New York? When it snows, first snow, you kind of... You have to find a place to do it, I guess. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. Like maybe you find an empty out here, parking lot. Out here in the middle but. of the... No- yeah. I fucking love it. You pull that e-brake, really just jack the wheel, figure out how to how to get in and out of shit. Nah. It saved me sometimes, you know? You start spinning out, you're like, oh, I've done this. <laughs> Fix it. No, nah, I like to just... Coast and put my fate in the hands in of the God. Hand. <laughs> I go, well, I have no control over this now, which is a metaphor for life, really. That you never have control over you, life. You can't control anything in life. So why would I expect to control this? Or you can control some things. Yeah. But like. You can control... Like, if you get in an airplane, you can't control that. At some point, you gotta let go. <laughs> you can control your caloric intake. Mm-hmm. Go on. You can't control whores at work being cunts. But that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> that's something. You could stay healthy, but you can't stay mentally healthy. That's exactly my point. That's disgusting. You can do everything right and have it not matter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking depressing. <laughs> that that that's what we should name this shit. Depressing. Depression. Uh, that the, uh, the spiral. The uh, that Channel Five thing was good. It seems pretty like uh, that's. It's like just out in the open, just like it's happening. Everybody knows that like it's just a a land grab, and they're doing all this shit. Yeah, just, just to lower the market price. People used to make fun of uh, the Superman movie what? for the fact that 
it was like a real estate play. Like three of the four, I think there's six or five, or five old yeah. Superman movies. I think three of them, the plot is like Lex Luthor's making a real estate play. Real estate grab. And people used to make fun of it, but it's like, ah, it is pretty yeah. villainous. That's like an office space when they're like, it's like, it's like Superman 3. Yeah. With the, with the cash. No. No, honestly, dude, it was, let's recap. Channel, when did this come out? A week ago? He d- he went down to Kensington Avenue. About in, a week ago. In uh, where's that? Jer- it's not Jersey. Philadelphia. 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 Every time everybody's said, coming uh, in from Jersey, buying up the place. They're they're driving in their Porsches. Sometimes he would say West Philadelphia, and I can't hear West Philadelphia without going born and raised on the playground, <laughs> where I spent most of my days. That show was great. I was trying to do his laugh the other day when he does that certain laugh, and then I felt very racist afterwards. Who? Will Smith. What's his laugh? That certain laugh he does where I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> not that, see? <laughs> that sounds Chinese. <laughs> racist Chinese. Yeah. Come on. But he would do like, <laughs> like that thing. I have to rewatch it, yeah. I haven't seen that shit. Yeah, I haven't seen that shit since I was a kid. Felt like Al Jolson. I feel like it. I feel like it wouldn't hold up. I feel like that show's uh, shit now. I mean, that one episode was still sad. I told you that. Which one? Where uh, his dad comes through as a truck driver, and he tells him he's going to take him on the road with him, and then leaves. Yeah, and then Uncle Phil is there instead. And him and Uncle Phil have a nice moment. That's nice. It is nice. It's devastatingly sad. Yeah. No, I bet that show doesn't hold up. I almost, I almost put on Everybody Hates Chris. I feel like that doesn't hold up. As a kid, I didn't... Because, you know, you're just watching reruns. I didn't realize that they replaced Aunt Viv. I thought that was, like, a different person. I thought that was, like, her sister that, like... Oh, really? Got swapped out with or something. That's interesting. But then when I was watching a thing on it, I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I guess she didn't laugh. or She did something weird, and they just, like, bounced her and got another lady in. Like, now nah, we'll get somebody else. It's got to be hilarious, though, to think, like, I'm the mother... Of this show, like, yeah. Do you think anyone watches this show for the mom? For the mom? No. We're in for Chris, baby. And who? Chris. Everybody hates Chris. Oh, oh, you're talking about Will? Uh, Fresh Prince Bill there. Fresh Prince. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know any of the characters. I thought you were talking about the other one. Why? That doesn't have. Uh, I don't fucking know. I, I haven't seen these since I was a child. What's what has to do with West Philadelphia and I hate Chris? Because we were talking about everybody hates Chris. I wasn't. I was. When? Earlier, motherfucker. We're doing the same shit we were arguing about in the other episode. We don't listen to each other. That's part of the issue. We need to identify where the miscommunication is happening in order to correct it. So I said West Philadelphia born and raised because that's the theme song to Fresh Prince. Yeah. And since then, I've been talking about Fresh Prince. So when did you? I brought it up earlier. I don't want to do this. We're not doing this. We're not. (laughs) It's going to be terrible. We're eight minutes in. We're going to argue by 15. I don't want to argue. I want to identify what happened. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Okay. What should we move on to? I don't know. The, uh, who's the Channel 5 dude? Andrew Callahan. Andrew Callahan. When he brings up, uh, did you know that the, that the Chinese company involved in it is set in Wuhan? Mm-hmm. They're from Wuhan. That's kind of fucked up. It is definitely curious. Yeah. At one point, he does say, "Like I, d- I do value my YouTube channel, so I don't want to make m- make make the connections." That's for another video. No, I said he didn't want to name the cartel. He said that, but then when he was talking about the Wuhan thing, he said the same thing. But just about like, I assume he didn't want to make the connections between that and COVID. Well, yeah, I think that if is... If there was a connection there. I think his YouTube... That is saying, like, the buzzwords or whatever. Yeah. Like, the Chinese company's not going to come kill him. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. yeah. It's it's getting, like, censored or yeah, whatever the yeah. fuck. No, the cartel thing was, like... I can say cartel, but if I tell yeah. you which one, they'll cut my fucking they'll head fu- off. They'll fucking <laughs> kill you. That, that was crazy. The fact that there's a group chat. Do you think they're the scariest? The I was, cartel? I was thinking about this the other night. Because sometimes I think Middle Eastern would be pretty scary because it's like still medieval in a way. Yeah. But then cartel people seem to kind of get off on being like the most hardcore. I feel like 
And a lot of those cartel dudes still hold some like Aztec shit. Mm-hmm. You know, no, what like I mean? the Taliban and like Al Qaeda, like that's definitely or ISIS, that's definitely terrifying. Like that's definitely scary. But I think another level is the well, ISIS is its own thing, right? That's its own. Yeah, like they're they'll just chop your fucking head Mercenaries. off. Mercenaries. Yeah, but that shit is scary. You get captured or some shit. But I don't like the cartels or like some of those like African tribes, like those African militia groups. That shit's fucking like they'll just hack you with a machete. Like those. Uh, have you ever seen the videos of the guys that go no. in? By, by, like, the Somali pi- pirates? Do you see that one video of the guy who puts his hand through, like, the mail slot of a door, and a guy just comes up with a machete and hacks yeah. his arm? Crazy. That is what you get if you put your arm into 100%, someone's house. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I see another one where some dude hits him with a baseball bat, and then you, and then you hear, like, the, like, a, like, a Tom and Jerry-esque yell. I'm sure it's... Yeah. That sounds like R2. Yeah. I'm sure it's scary and all to see someone like attempting to break into your house, but when you have, it's not like they're in and now you're one on one. Like, after you recognize the threat, you have to also recognize that, like, oh, I just have a free shot. Yeah. Like, what a hard dick. Yeah. You'd get for, oh, lining up the perfect angle. I get a free shot at someone that, doesn't know I'm here. And that has no case. It's like, what were you doing halfway through his door? Yeah. Oh, I was, you know, I like. Was fixing his mail. Yeah. His, his, I was, the knob no, cause at that Because after that, you run. Like, the person just runs away, I feel like. Yeah, it's not like they're going to be, like, hey. suing you or something. Yeah. So you just get well, They the, might at this point. Not in, in this some country, of the, in some, not in those countries. In so, no, not yeah, not, <laughs> yeah, not in those countries. If you're in like, if you're, you're in if Somalia, you're, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, there's those videos of like this one reporter dude, and he's like going to talk to the uh, Somali pirates, and like, I guess they drink like a mixture of cocaine, some opiate, and like something else, and like that's just what they drink. And they're, they're all fucked up, and like the one dude's holding a machete, and he's like, "What the fuck do you want?" And he's like, "I just want to talk to somebody." Like. And he's like, all right, and, like, they, like, throw this, like, ash or whatever the fuck out to, like, get the spirits away, and, like, they're doing shit like that, and it's like, damn, you guys are still on that shit. Like, you guys are still worried about, like, me bringing in spirits and shit, and if I have something weird, you'll fucking chop my arm off or something. One of those uh, BBC reporters went over to, like, a cannibal tribe, and he's trying to talk to him and shit. That's scary, too. And they keep, uh, like, the dudes answer him a little bit. They're talking through a translator. Dude's, like, kind of answering and then, like, popping off about shit. The guy, like, keeps letting him go off and then will ask another question. And finally, he asks, like, one question too many. And the dude's, like, like snaps and is just, like, quit fucking talk- asking me this shit. Like, it's fucking bullshit. And, you know, talking in his language. Yeah. But going off and he's, like, ask me another fucking question. Like, think I won't fucking kill you and eat you. Like, he just lays it out there for yeah. him. And you see the dude just, like. And like yeah. he's talking to like a producer, and the yeah. guy's like, "Well, I mean, we're here. We got." And he's like, "I, I don't, I don't think I can do it. No. I think, I, I think, I think I'm just gonna make a run for it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> no, that's terrifying. It's almost I'm it's like run, and you, you, you guys can occupy them yeah. in that. Then I'll, I'll yeah, get, I'll get, get away. <laughs> yeah, it's like run to where we. It, it was a six hour boat ride. Island. Yeah, it was a six hour boat ride you know down a Islands river to work? get here. <laughs> yeah, like they, they know every square inch of the, like we're well, fucked. That's the other thing. It's like. You almost take the known evil of a cannibal versus the unknown evil of, like, whatever fucking snake, crocodile yeah, exactly. exists. That shit's terrifying. Or it's like when, uh, do you remember that, that Wild Boys episode where they went to the, uh, I think they were in India or somewhere, but there was uh, that cannibalistic, like, native tribe. Or maybe it was, maybe it was that. I, I can't remember what, what, where the fuck they were, but, like, the dude's drinking his own piss. He's like... Cutting up his arm and like licking the blood out. They're, they're, Those are some wild boys. That's crazy. That's who the show should be about. Yeah. It should be about tribes doing yeah. shit and being like, yo, how extreme. Yeah. But no, that's the scary. Like that shit and then cartel shit's terrifying. The one dude at work, Angel was talking about his uncle got captured by the cartel. $30,000 uh, um, ransom. The channel that like, can dude. you imagine that? You already don't have money, yeah. And now like, you just get captured by 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 like the cartel because 
Well, why are they bought- setting the ransoms at a number that they know no one has? Well, I think they had to pay. I think they did pay it. They, like, were asking people, like, out, like, his family, like, in America, like, yo, like, send us money. Like, we're fucked. Damn. I, and I guess they got it together. They released him. But I, I can't remember. I'm going to butcher it, and I hope he doesn't mind me telling the story. But he, uh, it was something like he bought, like, a nice truck or something, or he bought, like, something new, and they thought he was, like, working with the feds or something. I can't remember what it was, but they saw that, and they were like, no, nope, we're going to, we'll nip this in the butt real quick. Let's get captured. It's like, fuck. Like, just like that. The channel You've lived you. there your whole life, and you just, it's yeah. like, God damn it. And then imagine us trying to fucking go to T.O.T. Wakan. Couple of marks. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, we get, yeah. So I like, I don't know. You'd want a guide for some of this shit, but how good does that get? Like, we go through some checkpoint trying to get to, from the airport to the hotel. They get one look at us and they go, oh, you guys are probably worth some money. It's weird though, because like, archaeologists go there and they're fine. Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, we do see, like, these people go to, they're in Turkey while, like, a war's going they're on. They're, like, the whitest person yeah. imaginable. It's some English dude, yeah. like, oh, I believe that the... the Who's existed in yeah. a university for 40 years. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to Iraq. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they found some winged statue in Iraq? Found a new one? I don't know how to spell statue. S T A T U E. Twenty seven hundred euros winged sculpture. Look what they found here. Look at this shit. Is that another one of those? It's another one of those things, right? Mm-hmm. That we saw. What are those called again? I can't remember. It's like an Asaru or something. Yep, like exactly. One, two, three, four. Yep, five legs. Which is just an odd thing. And they're supposed to be protectors. Of, uh, like, the temple entrance, right? Yeah. So it makes you wonder what else is here. Because look at the ground that it's standing on. That looks... Those look like actual stones placed. I'm sure it'll get hit by a bomb. So they no... Oh, I thought it said no beard. I'm like, it's clearly a beard. Yeah. No head. Well, yeah, because they're going to get chiseled off or whatever. Or they just dug this up. You're crazy. I think that's the one we saw. Well, I think the ones in New York were Lamasu. That's what it was. That word. Yeah. Yeah. Lamasu. Um, I don't remember about the ones in New York if those were. I guess they were real. But. The one we saw here was gigantic. That was that was fucking huge, absurdly large. That was bigger than the one in New York. Like no, because the ones in New York were like they were big. They were big, but like it was our head hit its shoulder. Yeah, it was almost. in relation to us. This yeah. one was like three stories tall. Yeah, no, it was the tall. whole back end of the building yeah. of the museum was the thing. Like like we made it up to its kneecap. Yeah, yeah. No, that was wild. How'd they get that here? In one piece. Or is it a remake? Or No, that's original. We asked Nico about it, and he was like, I've never heard of him doing, like, replicas of things. That's true, yeah, because yeah. he, he worked at the Met. Yeah. And they already have a basement full of shit that doesn't make it onto there, so what, do they also have a basement full of, like, the real The ones? real things? Yeah, because if you, if you made the copy, you have to have the original, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Be cool to go to that Iraq museum pre war. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like, that's where all the shit is. This, Iran. On uh, war mode, they were talking about, I forget what the year Syria. is, but they're like, you got to look at books from before a certain time because that's like when people are still showing up fucking in Iraq for the first time and like yeah. getting a look at everything and writing. And it's not, it's not a war zone. It's like just it's a not a war zone, and then it's not like, um, I guess, got the same level of scrutiny on it. Like it's just people be putting out books back in the day. Mm-hmm. It's like they had some book from like eighteen ninety three or some shit. 
That's like that. Uh, that's like that ancient history book I found in my basement. Mm-hmm. That's from 1902. Right. And like some of the shit, like like Tartary's brought up in it, mm-hmm. and it's like you wouldn't see that in any of the books today. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But no, that that is a good that that is a good point because I do follow I've, I follow this one dude on uh, Instagram who has like works at some like crazy library or some shit, but he's always showing off like here's a uh, an eighteen twenty version of the of the uh the Egyptian Book of the Dead and like it actually has the translations that we want where it's the hieroglyphs and then underneath it's bracketed like this means this mm-hmm. this means this this means this together it means all of this which is how it should be I mean give me the original fucking thing and then show me what it says like why so wouldn't why so wouldn't every book frustrating why wouldn't every book should. yeah because like every book we every book we try to find it's always like some dick Who's like, this is what I think this paragraph means. And it's like, yeah, like, cool. I'm glad I'm glad you have an opinion on it. But, like, I want to have an opinion, too. So they treat it like I'm asking somebody, like, can you give me a recap? And they're like, so the story goes like, no, 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 no. Like, you're not, I don't want to hear the story from you. Like, present me with the text yeah. and I'll read it. Like, if if I asked you, like, What's the Christianity origin story? You wouldn't like start ex- like, well, see what happened was you'd be like, oh, what translation of the Bible do you want? There's yeah. 57 of them. Yeah. Do you want the Ethiopian version? Yeah. Do you well, want no, this? They wouldn't offer you that yeah. one. No. That was interesting in that universe inside you video when they're talking about the Ethiopian Bible and they're like, um, cause it still has, uh, what it's still, it still has the book of Enoch or the book of Jubilees or whatever the fuck. It has like it has like three extra books or something, and it's like oh the, the Romans didn't even know that these people were over here practicing this shit, so it like it got secluded, it like broke, it wasn't influenced by any of the extra like Romans or anybody trying to influence the Bible. It was just it broke off at some point, and then it was just like its own, almost like a vacuum chamber. It was just, it was like its own thing. Yeah. And and, and apparently they had the Ark of the Covenant. Was, so it's gonna suck. Which apparently has the emerald tablets in it, which then makes you wonder: Is the emerald tablets just the Ten Commandments? Is that what that is? I don't think so. Because the the emerald tablets still have like it still breaks down laws. It's more than ten, but it's got like however many laws on it. Yeah, but Moses is who got them right. Not. Ten Commandments are from God, not Thoth, right? I don't know. If yeah, but I don't know where the lines, like, I don't know. Was he talking to Thoth? Like, I don't know. Well, because I thought Moses represents that guy Tut Moses in Egypt, so he can't be Thoth. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. he's definitely not Thoth. But I, I don't know, because the emerald tablets were passed down, and then at some point it was given to Moses' wife or some shit, and then it was placed into the... Into the Ark of the Covenant. That's the one thing. I think that's where they're saying that Thoth is Seth mm. and not Enoch. I think that's that line of thinking where, like, those end up over there. Because it feels like with all this shit, there's, like, seven routes we can go with it. We're like, yes, all this makes sense, but then this other theory pops up, and now it doesn't make sense. So now someone asked the question, or would you rather, of, like, would you rather see all of the future or all of the past and everyone was like oh all of the future obviously and i was like fuck that i want to know what happened so goddamn yeah. bad yeah that is a tough one i feel like if you know all the past you can predict the future pretty good versus if you know the future you're still like what the fuck happened yeah that could also be scary knowing all the future like like what if you learn the future and it's like oh we're dead in 10 years like, fuck, I should have just learned everything before. <laughs> like, I don't want to know this. Or you have a nice 10 years. Yeah, that's true. Work would be brutal. Yeah, you'd I, you'd definitely go, like, nomad at some point. The last three years, you're like, fuck this. Yeah, and then what? Be shitting Broke. outside? Yeah. Broke, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You become those people in uh, Philadelphia. 
That was a good point. I I I I made this little connection. He 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 brought up uh uh he made one point about how all this uh like like gentrification of these neighborhoods and all this shit it's taking away the culture and the history of the neighborhood. And it's like, damn, that's almost what happened during the World's Fair with the whitewashing of all these buildings and knocking down these buildings and rebuilding like shit that all looks the same or shit that all looks like like oh it's the, the this is the new architecture style like we're not we don't need that old shit and it's like you 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 are almost getting like you're stripping the city of all of its history and all of its culture and it's like all these new people are going to move in with their yoga studios and all this other shit and they're going to be like oh yeah, this thing that happened to Brooklyn all those yeah, years ago yeah it's like oh this neighborhood used to be what like ugh. and it's like obviously neighborhoods change and whatever yeah. like there's neighborhoods in New York that were Italian and then Irish and then black and then Puerto Rican. And trying this out. Like, things come and go, but that's different than someone manufacturing, like, oh, bring all the drug addicts here. And then for five years, and then we're going to push them out to the next street. We're going to rip this one down. And then we'll be Sell good. to the three highest bidders. They tear this bitch up. I loved that one dude's point where he's like, where they're talking about the, like, the exact laws where it's like, the cops will arrest, you know, people for selling drugs or whatever, but they don't arrest them for using drugs. Like, they just can shoot up on the street and they don't do anything. He's like, how's that work, though, if I smoke weed and, you know, they put me in cuffs in the back of a cop car and haul me off to jail? That's for weed. These people are fucking putting needles in their arm. With, you know, half their leg fucking yeah. falling apart. And a cop drives by like it's nothing. The one <coughs> lady was talking about how a cop just pull, pulls her over, puts her in the back of a car, like gets his dick sucked, drops her back off somewhere. Yeah. Because she's like, what am I, who's going to, who would believe me over him? Like he could say yeah. whatever. And she's like, it, it was a few years ago before the body cam stuff. Exactly. It and mandatory. it's mandatory. Like, and that's one dude. How right. many, How often is that happening? Yeah. It's like, and it's, it goes back to the same thing. Who are they going to believe? Like, what are you, like, you're going to believe this fucking drug? It? Like, mm. I didn't fucking do that. I was trying to fucking help thing. her. Like, what are you talking that about? That lady's story was horrific. That was, that was train, that was a train wreck. That was terrible. Yeah. It like kept getting worse. And you're like, what? Like, <coughs> there's just another layer of scumbag, yeah. like piece of shit people. No. And then the, that one, I think it was the same guy. He brought up another good point of, uh, it's like, yeah, this shit. This shit's always been going on. It's just they would hide in the buildings. And then he was asking somebody, he was like, why do you guys do this in the open? Like, why are you guys doing this in the street? Go in a build. Like, like, what's the, and he's like, nah, man, because if I nod off or something, or if I OD, someone will walk by and they'll go, hey, here's some Narcan or mm-hmm. whatever. Like, was, I'll save my life. It's like, damn. So you're not getting fined for doing this shit. You're not getting in trouble for doing this shit. Why wouldn't you just do it in the street? Of course you're like, it's safer, I guess. Dude. Some of those people with those sores on their leg. The Popeye arm. Horrifying. He goes, oh, yeah, they're and Mr. Vane. S- they're doing self-amputation. And then self-amputation. the drug chemist dude is saying how that won't happen if they do it right. But then they talk to like the scientist lady, and she's like, well, it, the odds are way lower. Yeah, but like it still could happen regardless. Well, she, made a, she brought a good point because it was like it's a – tranquilizer so it constricts your veins and it lowers blood flow and then the other late the other doctors talking about the sores and they're like yeah the sores develop because there's no blood to that area so the, the skin dies. dies everything starts dying and it dies all the way down to the bone and the only way to fix it is to scrape everything out and fucking like try ha- hopefully it regrows i love that's that fucking horrific that talking to who was just super honest about like his drug use and was like he Hey, mom, I'm okay. Yeah, like he totally gets that, like everything's fucked up, and it was just, like, he's just so straightforward about everything. I love when he's like, nah, like heroin was I, euphoric. I was from that era. Like, like heroin, you would be chasing that high because it was the best, like, trank, it's a cheap way to knock out. It's a yeah. cheap way to get hazy. Like, it's yeah. not euphoric. There's nothing, you know. And then the doctor. Oh, it's the, pretty much the same thing. It offers them the same benefits that heroin does, and it's like, no, it doesn't. Uh, did a blurb on the yeah. side of a textbook neither, say that? Like, neither are good, but I don't know. 
But heroin is euphoric. It's not good yeah. long term or whatever, but like it provides a good Yeah. It's it's morphine or the, fucking it's painkiller. It's opiate. Like the crazy is the thing. The craziest thing was when they he was explaining the proxy war. Like it's not like that, on paper, it looks you like see two gangs in Philadelphia. It's black on black other, crime. You go, yeah, black on sure. black. Sure. Hey man, this this is fucked up. You know, we got gangs going at each other. But it's a in war reality. Bet- it's a war between the Chinese and the cartel. Because the cartel is able to control the price on everything because they get the drug from the vet. They have that, like, horse whatever. It's a horse tranquilizer yeah, is, horse is, what tranquilizer. The, is what that trank is. So, and that comes from the veterinarians. But the veterinarians can't sell it directly to the supply, or to the to the dealers mm-hmm. or, the, or, or, like, the people making the drugs. Like, the one dude was the like... The cartels who has the network mm-hmm. of people to be like, all right, now we can fit five guys in between you two. Which makes sense because he was talking about the one drug dude, the like, the two brothers... He was talking about were they uh, white or black. I kept going. They were back. white. I think right? they were white. Yeah, he looked like sometimes a white dude. they look like a white guy behind yeah. the sunglasses. But then sometimes he would say things, and I'm like, "That's a black dude would say that." Yeah, <laughs> but then also a white guy cooking drugs in Philadelphia probably hangs out with, with a lot of black dudes. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly. Uh, but then he starts talking. And he's like, "Yeah, the veterinarians buy a bottle of that for thirty bucks." Mm-hmm. And he was like, "How much do you buy it for?" And he goes, "I buy it for three to four or five hundred. Like four or five, like what the fuck's that markup? And then he goes, "Well, I'm the sixth guy that gets it. Mm -hmm. I'm the sixth guy that has my hands on it." So you got to think, the vets are selling it probably directly to the cartel. The cartel then has to either distribute it. There's got to be something in it for them in the first place. Yeah, there's got to be their initial fat markup, and then enough for everybody to get theirs off the top. Exactly, and then like, there's too many lines to trace it back to these corrupt veterinarians, and it's like, I wonder how that started though. They just figured it out, like. Or was the cartel like? That's what I mean. Like, did someone approach just veterinarians' offices and was like, yeah. "Need a couple yeah. extra bucks"? Or did one veterinarian have a brother who like lived in Mexico and right. was like, "Hey, why don't you talk to some of your neighborhood guys?" Feels like it almost had to be something like that because it seems so random. Otherwise, yeah. But how crazy is that? It's the Chinese and the and the cartel. Well, what's crazy too is that. The Chinese did it, like, so intently. Like, the cartel, it's like, oh, we're taking advantage of a situation or whatever. Like, we're capitalizing on the fact that, like, this guy needs this drug. We're going to be, like, facilitate it. They set the market price. They fucking annihilate anybody that cuts it or does anything different. The Chinese not only, like, get in the game, they one-up them. They're like, yeah. oh, here's it in powder form already. Yeah. Done. You don't, you don't need to do yeah. anything to it. It's just ready to go. Which is a typical Chinese thing to do. You make it better, oh my and God. you make it quicker. Cheaper. A more efficient. They're an efficient people. It's truly, it's crazy. But, the, but no, what's what's more crazy? A hive mind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're able to operate at such speeds. Yes. Yeah. But no, what what's more crazy? The proxy war between the cartel and the Chinese happening here, or is the that fact a Chinese that Chinese gang, or is it like the Chinese government? I don't even understand. Is it the triads? That's what I mean. They, like, I is wonder. It a yeah. gang? that makes you wonder. And are, is the gang just backed by? Because if it's Wuhan, Wuhan was like a government lab. Yeah. Wow. You know, it wasn't a gang that released yeah. COVID. It was the government. So, well, I'm sure the Chinese government still gets money from the from the opiate trade and all that shit. You know they're at their hand. Like, they have to. I mean, look at, like, all these other, like... Well, don't they make the pills? I think so, yeah. yeah. But, um... Because that's the thing when they talk about supplements getting tainted in, like, fighting for drug testing. They'll be like, you pop for this. And it's like, oh, I took a tainted supplement. All supplements are made in the same warehouses as those things. And they use the same bins. And they don't clean it out. They just, like, dump it and then put the new thing yeah, in. So just there's, trace like, amounts resin- of yeah. whatever. Yeah. But no, what's more crazy, the proxy war happening here or the fact that the American government is probably letting it happen so that they can then swoop in and just be like, okay, well, this is going to happen regardless. So we'll just devalue our town and then our corporations can come in and we'll build everything up better. Because they have to be like, like they have to be working with the cartel. They have to be working with these gangs and shit. It goes back to, like, the CIA when they were dealing drugs and dropping crack in, the, in like, the underprivileged neighborhoods and shit. Like, they're letting it happen. So, it's Grand like... Master Kiss yeah. is fucking 
one night helicopter flies over yep. the projects. People say a bag fell out. Next morning, everyone's on crack. Yeah. Or it goes back to like, uh, yeah, exactly. Or like uh, I was watching one podcast, this one drug trafficker dude who used to work with uh, like the Sinaloa cartel and they're, uh, they're like they're El Chapo's cartel in uh, Mexico. And he was talking about how when they would smuggle drugs in trucks or whatever, they would they would let Border Patrol know that like, hey, I have five trucks coming over the border. Here's one of them mm-hmm. because you got to feed them. You got to feed the Border Patrol so that you can get the four trucks. So like we're going to we're going to lose a truck. Like, that's happening regardless. So we're losing that. Yeah, you put all the people you don't like on that. Yeah, so who gives a fuck? Yeah, like, like, like we're going to lose a truck. We paid them. We got them, like, they get to go on the news and say, we found a, we found a, we found a semi-truck with 70 bus. kilos of this, whatever. We got a big bust, all this shit. But behind the scenes, like, you got four other trucks going over. So they're letting it happen. I don't know. It's interesting. I love that shit, though. It's fascinating. Shit is corrupt. It's all fucked up. Another one of the Channel 5 guy. He did um the border crisis in Arizona. Yeah. And he's standing by the fence. And every once in a while, like the main line of people is further away. But every once in a while, someone walks by. And he was just talking to him through the fence in Spanish. And the one dude is like probably younger than us is explaining how the cartels just come to your house and they kidnap you and then they charge a ransom. No shit. Like not even based on anything. It's just like, yeah, they're extorting people. They come in your house, they take somebody and then they charge you this much to get them back. Or they'll just cut their throat out and hand it to you. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked up. Well, did you see what... It uh, makes you understand, though, why you'd walk fucking 100,000, whatever, like, yeah. however far... Why, why you'd walk from time. fucking Guatemala yeah. to California. It's fucked up. Yeah, but it makes sense, like... If that's what you're getting away from. And that's yeah. the thing. And that's, and that's where, and that's where like, the border issue, where it's like, yeah, you don't want these people to go back to this. But... You, but we don't want to let the bad person in. Yeah, you can't with them. You can't let all these people in. But you also like they got a reason for leaving. Like yeah. it's horrific. Like shit's fucking horrific. Well, some I didn't. Un, I, I meant to follow up on Did this because I didn't understand it. But they were saying something about how like when you leave. So whatever country you leave, that you're leaving because it's bad. The first country you hit outside of that is supposed to give you like asylum, I guess. But something changed, and now people go through all those countries, and then they claim asylum in America. Really? And I guess before you couldn't do that or something. It was like, yeah, you, like, get out of your country, and then whatever country you fall into, yeah. they're supposed to be like, ah, asylum. Yeah. So if you leave, like, Ecuador and land in whatever, Guatemala or somewhere, you can claim asylum there. Is how I – it was presented in passing. Like, some guy he was talking to was saying something about it, and I was like, I got to look that up. Because I've always heard people say that, like, claim asylum, yeah. but – you see what happened when they uh I was watching one thing. When they captured it looked like a faggot park ranger. That's what it is. Me? Yeah. I like it's that. It's like a I'd be a park ranger. I'd love that job. You're like Jim Dangle who's like yeah. I had to work for these pants. I I, yeah. I I had to argue to get these shorts. Yeah. This short you're like I'm wearing the hat. It is not the standard issue hat, admittedly. No, but it is more it is breathable. My, it's my flair on it, you know, and I just think it looks better. Yeah, and, and I should be. It, it is the same I've, structure. I've been with the. I've been I've with. it myself. I've been with this camp for you know five years, and I think you know I've I've, I've earned this. Go ahead. Honestly, no. Did you see the? Uh, I watched some video of when the. Uh, did you see when they arrested El Chapo in Mexico? Did you see when they captured him? Or no, El Chapo's son. And they grabbed him. The Mexican government grabbed. They like arrested El Chapo's son. And they capture him. His whole gang just starts shooting up the neighborhood. They're like, okay, we give everybody guns. We took over this section of Mexico. They start letting out all these, all, all these like prisoners and shit. And they start giving them guns. And they go, hey, we're going we're gonna to slaughter people for as long as it takes for you to let them go. 
Yeah, it's like bro, a they let, movie shit. They let him go. They said, "My bad." Here, and it's like, yeah, what's that look? What What does that look like to for the Mexican government? Like, how does that look? We should take we, our like, guys that have like. Fine, like all our cops that have had like fines against them for being like too rough or whatever, we send them down there. It's like, listen, you got an itchy trigger finger? That's a good this idea. Is where you end up? That's a good idea. We should do that. We should have some sort of like thing worked out with Mexico. Because isn't their thing that they're just outgunned by the cartel? I think so. There we go. Yeah, we're sent. We're sending fucking battleships to Israel. Yeah. We can't fucking send a sw- couple SWAT team, yeah. couple fucking a couple seals, seals down. Something, figure shit out. Is that our version of a proxy war? Mexico? No, Israel and Palestine. Probably. I think so. Because it doesn't like Russia back Palestine. I think so. Probably. I'm sure there's also some... That one's also weird because I think it's got some ancient shit to it. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. It's all. I think our version of a proxy war is what's happening through Africa, right? With what? Is isn't there all like those secret wars in Africa, or is that just to keep Africa shitty so that we can exploit their labor and their land? This gambling guy I follow on Twitter was saying, "Hello, that's the last thing you can exploit." What? He's like, Africa. It's a poor country that's easily corruptible. I could pay off the entire African water polo. It's the, he's like, I could pay off the entire, like, uh, Senegalese water polo team, <laughs> and no one would know. <laughs> it's fucked that up. That boy's wild. It's fucked up. That's why they took Gaddafi out of, out of power. He's going to spin that place around. What the fuck's going on with Yemen? I don't know, man. We got to look more into that. Yemen's popping. We got to have. Fuck off. We should have a Yemen episode next week. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, hi, Rima. The official <laughs> accent of, of Yemen. Yemen. Yeah, no, obviously. It's fucked up. Yeah, I don't even understand, like. How things keep getting worse over there. Like, every day, it's the worst thing ever. And you're like, well, this will probably be the end of that. Yeah. And then tomorrow, they're like, Israel fucking passes Vlad the Impaler's records for, like, babies spiked. You're like, what the fuck? What's happening over there? Like, what's happening? And then you hear after that, it's like, Palestinians... To Israel, 3,000 is the score. And America hears that, and it's like, we got to send in reinforcements. Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> What's going on? I don't get it. I don't get it. And then we send a billion dollars over to the Ukraine. And it's like, they're doing fine with $500 drones. That video was crazy. That was like a video game. You just guide Ukraine. in your little shitty missile. Dude, literally. What was that? Was that was was that on Twitter? Yeah. Yeah, you found a video of a Ukrainian drone. It was like a $500 drone with C4 on it. It's literally a kill streak in Call of Duty and they're flying it into this tank. How much was it was like a $90 million tank they explode. And this is no, just happening. It's like a $4 million tank, but there's like like 8,000 of them or something got blown up. Can you imagine figuring that out? I guess that was like a huge thing for Putin's ego or something they were trying to say in whatever thing I read below it. Because I guess he was all hyped up on having these tanks. Really? <laughs> and they've just been getting smoked. By, by these drones? I guess. No, dude, it's crazy. It literally looks like it literally looks like the video game kill streak. I swear to God. Yeah, it's like if you put I them side of. by side, it's like it has the crosshair, it's got everything, and this thing just it's like kind of shitty. Dude, it's like, terrible. Yeah. It's got like a fucking prod on the front for when it hits it, it explodes. It's crazy. And yeah. you watch it. I've watched it six times and you go, damn, dude, that's crazy. And then you and then you think again, it's like, oh fuck. Five people probably just got murdered. Eviscerated. Yeah, just instantly. It's horrific to think about. Like, oh, damn, it's not a video game. That is real yeah. life. Well, Russia's weird, too. Or it's like, not a movie. They talk so much shit, but then it's like, 
Don't you like not have an army? You just have like people. Yeah, I don't. I, I think they just go to towns and be like, "You're it, all the men." Yeah. Next, it's a weird move for someone that talks as much shit as them. It's like, yeah, I get you have all these tanks and stuff, but yeah, like a Do they fifty-five know how to year old yeah. fat fuck who's off the couch driving it. You don't have some testosterone yeah. up. What happened to like lunatic. the Spetsnaz or like the KGB? I guess they still have their elite soldiers and shit. They have to. I would imagine, but but like the like like the front line people are just it's just power in numbers. Dude, every bit of news out of that was like they got their boat stolen and taken against them. They got a tank stolen and turned around against them. Which like it makes you wonder because like, like hijinks. Yeah, it's like it's almost like it's almost like us at work not not giving a shit. You're being forced to be there. It's like fuck. Do you want the boat? Fucking take it. Don't kill me. I'll I'll move over there. Like I don't give a shit. Fuck. Yeah, I'll <laughs> take, fight for Ukraine if hey, they pay me more. Take the fucking boat. I don't like, care. I got a wife and kid. If we can get them back, I mean, yeah. if not, I mean, I don't know. I'll be KIA for a little bit. You got a gun in my head. The MIA. Got a gun in my head. Yeah. Oh no, the boat. I'm I'm POW till the war is over. That's fucked up. To think about. Half your soldiers probably don't give a shit. That's not fucked up to think about. But the Ukrainian soldiers are. All what in. What would you expect? Yeah. Have an army. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're... It's fucked up to think about if you were one of those people and you're like, damn, I don't want to be... Like, I could give a shit. Like, like keep you... Cra- like, that doesn't... Like... I didn't join the army when it made sense to do it. Now yeah. I'm 45. I'm yeah. gonna fucking... Fight. Hoof I'm gonna fight this... Snow. I'm gonna fight this 23-year-old Ukrainian dude who's, who's like, has a purpose. Up. Yeah, yeah, who's like, I'm gonna fucking murder these yeah. people. And he and like he's fighting a 45-year-old dude who's like, I can't talk to you, man, but like, <laughs> fuck you, like, Leah, help me. You've got defending family on one side versus Putin told me to on the other. Yeah. That's scary. That's fucked up. And we're, and we're living on the hog, baby. Yeah, we're not perfect by any means, but the people that bitch and moan about us are like, yo, why don't you go spend some time in a shitty area? Belarus. Like, yeah, like, the, like 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 95% of the world is shit. Like it's crazy. In even places that have a good thing, it's like they have that one good thing, and then it's like what else? And it's like, oh, well, there's dictator, yes, yeah, but like, well, yeah, beautiful mountain. Yeah, no? you will get murdered if you send the wrong tweet out. Yeah, like obviously, but like, you seen the mountain range? Have you seen our festival mm-hmm. with the lights? No, it's crazy. Not what they call Hanukkah, I believe. The festival of the lights. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Festival of the whites, they should call it. Well, you're throwing the the in there. But they could call it that, yeah. Festival of Whites. That's the new version of it. Can we talk about the tunnels? I've bit my tongue long enough. Let's talk about the tunnels. Where are we at on this? Because we've seen, we've definitely seen an Alex Jones video. All I know is I can say whatever I want. If someone rolls their eyes now, they are the stupid one. I feel like this is completely like swung the tables to where like I am more right about this shit than you are because people were staunchly oh you got look if you said if you brought up Jew tunnel at work I said Jews tunnels underground New York City no you you, asked me to leave you get looked at like a fool the what what was the original thing that it was uh they were digging these tunnels during COVID so that they can go to church? Bull fucking shit. Tunnels weren't built fuck, that long ago. They were built fuck recently. Crazy. Jews also have their own insulated communities in New York like that. Like they didn't need. They could have just not been following. You could have just walked to church. Yeah, like they, temple. N- no one was enforcing it on them in the first place. No, but then they find not out all what, Jews, but. The but then ones they, but then they find out what? All these tunnels are dug recently. Recently, within like the past year or so, two years. And I guess they've talked to migrant workers that have been through there to do it. Can you imagine? It was, found, like, out, yeah, it was, it was found out it was found out because people in their house were hearing Jews under their their floorboards. How crazy is that? There's probably a bunch of liberals 
that were like going to a therapist before they were calling the police and being like, I think I have some type of internalized <laughs> racism because I keep hearing, I mean, I know the songs. No. I, I've seen movies. I've seen the movie. It sound, uh, I, got, I hear I hear pickaxe and I hear dreidel, dreidel, yeah. dreidel. I got 50 <laughs> Woody Allens scurrying around. <laughs> oh, God. No, Henry, grab the pickaxe. I was listening to one thing. I forget what, but it was explaining just how, like, you forget how many types of Jews there are. Like, we always say Ashkenazi, but, like, there's, like, a lot of different types of Jews. A ton of Jews. And someone was making the point of, like, there's one type of Jew that's, like, fully connected to, like, bad shit. Really? That he kept comparing it. He's like, that's the, the, the Jewish the people's Dalmat version Jews? of, like, the mafia. Really? Yeah. And they were making the point that, like, I don't know if those are the same guys, but, like, there is one sense of news that, like, historically has done bad shit like this, and it wouldn't be, like, out of left field or whatever for this to be them. If it's other Jews, then, yeah, crazy. Crazy. But, Why? like, if it's these people, they've been known to do fucked up shit yeah. before. Yeah. Which, obviously, well, okay. I'm not going to say obviously. What is what it's pointing at? What it's looking like is child trafficking. That's what it's looking like. The amount of they're pulling out they're pulling out mattresses with stains on them. They're pull the amount of high chairs. I was gonna say baby toys and stroller, high chairs. The amount of like lot baby of carriers. Like what the yeah, those fuck is things. that? What is that? Why? It's dirt tunnels. Why is there high chairs down there? Why yeah. is there baby carriers down there? Yeah, they're very bad. Why are tunnels. these stained mattresses? Like, what is this? And you could say, like, sure, they're putting up mattresses for, like, to insulate it. But, like, I, come on. What's the stain from? Come on. Wouldn't the whole thing be stained? Like, what are we doing? Baby carriers. High chair. Like. Yeah, I don't like that twist on it. Bro. Even that's probably true, but. And then you, and then it goes to this. Uh, it goes back to the, to the, uh, like the migrants come, or not the migrant, like the uh, the people coming over the border. They don't have. They're not tracking these kids. There's what? There's eighty thousand kids missing. And that was in or New something. York, I think that's one place. Yeah. Yeah. Like eighty. Like there's mil There's probably a million kids. Like there's missing. They don't and keep tabs on these bro, kids. That's, Unaccompanied kids are coming over the border. That's twenty twenty four. Cameras everywhere, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. What about Tartarian time, the orphan trains? Yeah, and they're sending these kids. How yeah. many fucking kids were probably just undocumented? No one knows. You give them another. You just ship a kid out to the, the place that you just finished yeah. destroying everything. Hey, your new name is this. Here's your family. No, not even give them a family. Just set your, you go work over here now. Like, here's your new life. You, you work Building this yeah. town out of the, we just Your name leveled is Paul it. Paul Jacobs. You work at this warehouse now. Damn, but it's fucked up. And I think about it because it's like they say all these kids are in child trafficking cases, and like all these, like there's so many kids missing and shit. And then you see that all these immigrants or like all these unaccompanied minors are missing, like coming over the borders. And then you and then you and then we watch that video of that one chick who just sounds like a fucking corporate bitch being like, "Well, yeah, we don't know. We we we're, we don't have the resource to keep tabs on everybody." And it's like, "But you have the re like you have the resources to ship them all over the country." Like what? And again, I feel bad for that lady even to some extent cuz she's just sitting there trying to answer for the sins of like a corporate a corporation yeah. that, you know, cuz they're telling her if you'll lose your job. And she doesn't have every answer. You know, she's some fucking frontline lady. She's yeah. not the lady on the board no. who fucking fucks yeah. kids no. or whatever. You know, like, she sucks probably regardless, but yeah. she's not, like, f evil. She just sucks. No. It's yeah. different. Like, maybe she wouldn't do, be doing what she's doing if she knew that they were full-blown evil, but, like, she just thinks that there are other people who suck. Yeah. Which she enjoys as someone who sucks. It's scary. It's wild. That was wild. It did. It, it Such does, a random find, too. Like, it's it rapidly depressing. No, yeah. When like, you realize, like, it's not. 
But people, st- but people still look at you like you're a fool for even saying this or bringing this up. But isn't that just them like, not, like running from the truth? Like what is? Yeah, like, like oh, our, I wish I could have your outlook on things. Yeah. Where you just like Are you just naive. Like what yeah, is? You it? just don't accept things that you don't like the sound. Of. It's like well, that can't be true. It's like. <laughs> That's like people when they talk about like there can't be a shadow government or an Illuminati. Like why would why would that make it's like it's like I'm a- immediately jealous. of Why your wouldn't life. that be a thing? I'm jealous of your life yeah. if you're so smitten with how things are going that you've never had to stop yeah. and pause and consider like why the fuck yeah do I keep getting fucking fucked yeah but even like you've never watched a movie and have been like damn that'd be a cool thing to do. But now imagine if you got the money and the resources. If you're a if you're a Rothschild and you see some fuck or you read a book and there's some character that's doing some fucking crazy shit and you're like, "Well, I got more money than God. Let's just fucking do that." Like it worked for them. Like let's just do it. That's some new money shit though. They're old money. They do yeah. shit that the books are written about. Yeah, exactly. I was just yeah, that's it. That is a good point. Go back to the Romans. Nimrod yeah, even for that'd be crazy if he actually. If there's, that, no, if that's there's no true, way. There's no way. I don't know. There has to. There's that's so early Bible. That'd be crazy. That's like a few generations post flood. <laughs> if he could, tra- you imagine tracking your lineage back that far, thousands of years. There's no way. It'd be easier though if people had longer lifespans. Mm-hmm. If you had access to certain knowledge. Dude, we were watching no, some. No, I'm saying it would just be less. P- it's not like mm-hmm. remembering 100 people. Now it's like remembering 10 people. Yeah, that makes sense. Dude, we were watching some Simpsons episode. And like, you look into shit weird. I don't know. They had this new like, they had this new pastor. So like, everybody was pumped about church. Everybody's going to church. And uh, who's Smithers' uh, helper? Smithers. Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Okay, yes. Yeah. Sm- Sm- Smithers was in uh, Smithers was in church and uh they were like, "We never seen you in church. Where's Mr. Burns?" And they go, "Oh, he's at his house learning his own personal manuscripts." Dude, he's in like this fucking like room in his house with these artifacts on the wall, and he hits a button and these old like tablets and scrolls oh come up. God. Dude, these old tablets and scrolls come up and he goes, "Ah, uh, the the poor gets access to what or blah blah blah. And he goes, nah, get that out of there next. And he fucking burns like documents that should be like in the Bible or mm. whatever the fuck. And he's getting rid of shit. And he goes, nah, we got to stay on top. They're just putting that shit. In. I, I don't know. Say, Simpsons never misses. It's weird, like looking at that like shit. That. Yeah, it's weird looking at that shit and like reading the shit that we read into and going, damn, like, that is. Well, how about the uh, when they're that former FBI guy turned PI. Is talking about that dude was great. He's talking about how kids are talking about people in black robes, and it's like black robes. That's literally like yeah. shit you'd get laughed at. But he also talks about how he retired from the FBI, joined, became a PI, was doing a bunch of Hollywood cases, and like wasn't looking for anything. Just Satanism and like these child things, like this kept getting brought up. So then he yeah, starts looking each case individually, but and then, then he's, the same elements keep popping up in each of them. And then he starts looking into it and looking into it more, and then he starts discovering all this shit. And it's like, fuck, like you're a straight shooter. Do you retire from the FBI? Probably didn't know any of this shit. Like, and then just starts poking around, and well, it's he like made it sound like at that one lecture or whatever. He made it sound almost like the FBI was still good when he got into it, and it like turned while he was in so it wasn't until he got out and was able to like look at it and be like oh it is different now yeah. like it, you aren't the, yeah with the goal of good anymore yeah but it makes you wonder because you hate to bring up alex jones because people automatically say it's bullshit but he brings up a good point of when he's like this obviously should be investigated it's not it's being filled up with concrete but yeah the tunnels it's it obviously should be investigated, but who should investigate? Because the police are covering it up. The New York government's covering up. Like, whoever, like, the council, like, all, it's being covered up. So it's like, who do you even send in to investigate these things? You'll never figure anything out. It'll just be chalked up as, that was weird, wasn't it? Like, that 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 was an odd thing. They should send Scoob and the gang in. Yeah. 
be like, let's unmask them. Who are they? They Scooby Doo comes in. All right, the gang comes in. They're figuring it all out. Gets to the climax. They got the head Jew, head guy. They strap him down to one of those high chairs. They pull his mask off. Who is it? Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it because he wants the spotlight again. <laughs> he misses the spotlight. He knows everyone's sick of him. And he figures what will be more polarizing than a bunch of Jews digging tunnels. Digging tunnels. Do you think that's the only tunnel? One they fucking got sloppy with, yeah. which means it's not the first one. Exactly. You don't find the serial killer's first killer. You find their tenth one. Yeah, they want to get caught. Mm-hmm. They're sloppy. They're getting sloppy. Three stories deep. That's absurd. That's like the subway. That's, Three stories. It's fucking crazy. You know how many tunnels are under, under Chicago? As well as probably under New York and every other city and probably... Dude, well, I... I think we talked about it here, but the... Uh, I don't know how there could be tunnels under New York. It's fucking an it's island. It's an island, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I'm so confused. I don't understand anything. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, what? Is, this just makes sense. Allie <laughs> fucked my head up, and she's like, how are there basements in New York? I'm like, what? <laughs> well, the island isn't floating on the water. Probably, it's probably land going all the way down. For sure, but like... It's definitely... Why like, is that not the case with Florida then, or whatever? You know what yeah, I mean? That's like, true. That's true. Is it sea level? I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know what the I can I can fuck around, but I couldn't tell yeah. you exactly. That's interesting. That what the interesting thing is? Point. Yeah, I, I didn't think about that either. Because maybe yeah, the water just covers up like the one part in between. Because mm-hmm. I know they say like New and Orleans is below like sea level, or whatever the fuck. It was just after Katrina. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we saw what happened there. I want you wonder if those tunnels had something to do with it. They were controlling something. What the weather. <laughs> well, we know that there's an antenna on the fault line. That's how some people control the weather. That, that mystery history, dude. Not mystery history. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is. He's the one that posts like four videos in one video. That's the guy. Yep. Uh, he he talks. He brings up that antenna a lot. No new information ever, but he keeps it relevant. Yeah, he keeps it in the mix. Yeah. Now, sometimes he puts some cool shit up though. He does. Doesn't explain that's anything why I, about it. But then that's why go, I keep the follow. Yeah. You know, Praveen Mohan has like three million subscribers. Yeah. yeah, it's insane. People love Praveen. Yeah. No, he's great. I I, I could listen to that guy talk. I showed him to Christian the other day. Isn't it absurd? This is remarkable. <laughs> <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> I start traveling like him. He had a little collab with uh, Universe Inside You. Did he? Yeah, I think he popped up in one of the videos. When I'm shadow boxing in the shower, my demons that I'm arguing with, uh, and I'm shaking my fist at why I don't have my 10,000 every year, that's part of the mix. Is like, I could be traveling. You could be traveling. That's travel money right there. I could see the great wonders of the world if it weren't for these poor. Well, no, that's why. That's why we're doing this. The quest for nothing. On a mission for nothing. The mission's not nothing. The mission's to do nothing. Yes. That. Yes. Do nothing. Next to the pyramids. Do nothing in yes. Japan. Yes. Do nothing in other Syria. <laughs> Go back in, to in, in Iraq. <laughs> Stonehenge. Have you ever seen videos of Iraq in the 60s? Or is it Iraq or Iran? One of them. Where it all just the looks, girls are hot. Yeah, it just yeah. looks like it looks like the U.S. Like yeah. it just lo- it looks like a European country. And then I guess like we like kill their leader. Yeah, and then <laughs> and put a new guy in, and then everybody. they're like. Towels on your yeah. head, stat. That's crazy. Yeah, I never looked into like 
how that worked, though. Because they still have the same religion. So this is just like a different interpretation of it. Different sect. Maybe they had shit. And they weren't as extreme. I don't know. They went from like everyone being Catholics to everyone being Baptists or something. Yeah. yeah. In that version of Islam or yeah. whatever. Yes, not. Yeah. I've <laughs> <laughs> a lot of those Bastis, Baptist Iranians. <laughs> yes. Those Iranian Baptists. Hey, I think there's more rapists than there are Baptists over there. <laughs> what is that from? Nothing. Nothing. They just run. It's off the dome, baby. We should be rappers. All right. It's probably enough for this week. I would say. Feeling good. <laughs> I would say. Hey. If we're hitting rapists, <laughs> Baptists. Hey. And we've and we've met our match. Yeah. All right. Well, episode ninety something. Five. <laughs> this is a train wreck. Ninety five. Five to go, bud. Yep. We'll get there. Crunch time, baby. Woo! Now we're on the right track. We'll probably we're getting there. the first March episode. Or maybe the last February episode. Something like that. Yeah. We got almost a month left. We're going to kick it in high gear. Really got to kick it in high gear. We're going to feel good. All right. 96 coming up next week, people. We're feeling good. That's our birth year. We should do something special. We should do something we'll special. Nick on the pod. That'd be nice. The 96 boys. 96. I miss Nick. <laughs> uh, it's nice to have three. It is Get nice. a little. I can look things up more. Yeah. No. All right. See you fuckers next week. Until next time. You stay classy. Yes.